Hello and welcome to the course of computational fluid dynamics. This is unit 1. In this unit, we will talk about the general equations are used in fluid mechanics. So there are basically three equations which are based on the universal conservation law of mass, momentum and energy. So we will see one by one these laws. In the previous lecture, we have talked about system and control file loop, what is continuum and properties and mass conservation principle and dynamics of motion. <coughs> In today's lecture, we will talk about Reynolds transport theorem mass momentum conservation principle and derivation of continuity equation. So if you take a system and control volume, say control volume and system is basically deferred in a fact that system has identifiable mass. So across a system, whatever is contained is fixed and identified. However, across the boundary of control volume, the mass can flow in and out. For example, in a spray can, this spray can which is closed is, can be considered as a system. Reynolds transport theorem. The Reynolds transport theorem connects the system to control volume. How we can use the formulas derived for system to be transformed in control volume formulation. So this Reynolds transport theorem is by below the formula. If capital B is the property of a subsystem, then the material derivative of that property of the system can be given as the rate of change of that properties, that property over the control volume and the rate of flux, total flux across that control volume surfaces. So in mathematics, this can be derived by integrating over the control volume and integrating over the control surface. For example, if we take capital B, that property as momentum, then the d by dt of the system of the momentum can be written as p by dt integration over whole the control whole of control volume rho vector v dv plus integration over whole of the control surface rho v v dot n d so in this way we can write the rate of change of any property of a system in control volume formulation. For example, if you take V is equal to MV, it may turns in, it can turns into the force and that summation of all the forces can be calculated in case of a steady flow, the steady term will just disappear and all the forces can be calculated on the system by this formula. So in case of one dimensional flow, d by dt will be there. The total force acting will be the sum of rate of change of rho v dv over the whole control volume plus m dot v out minus total m dot v in. 
Similarly, conservation of energy equations can be applied where the change in energy per unit time of a system can be written in the control volume formulation. Now let us move to the continuity equation. To derive the continuity equation, let us take an elemental control volume of length dx, dy and dz. Across the faces of it, the mass is entering and exiting. So in each direction, we will control the, we will calculate the net mass flux and then sum up it and apply the conservation of mass principle. That is rate of change of mass inside the control volume will be equal to the rate of net rate of flux across the control volume surface. So from the left face, the flow is entering and we can calculate the m dot that is mass flow rate by rho u into elemental area and similarly on the bottom face and the rear face and by Taylor series we can calculate the mass exiting at the right top and front face. <coughs> So net rate of mass flow in, in, into the into or out of the control volume will be the all positive mass flow rate minus all negative mass flow rate. So that will come like this. So del rho by del t of dv for whole control volume is rate of change of mass inside the control volume. That must be equal to the total mass flow rate entering minus exiting. So by approximating for a small control volume, this equation can be rewritten as this. And by adjusting the terms, and introducing del operator, we can write the continuity equation as del rho by del t plus del dot rho v vector equals to 0, where v is the velocity vector. The summary of today's lecture is that the Reynolds transport theorem relates the extensive property of a system to extensive property of control volume. The equation of continuity is a mass balance of fluid flowing through a stationary volume. It states that the rate of mass accumulation in this volume element equals the rate of mass in minus the rate of mass out. These are the references. The question for practice is to first illustrate mass conservation principle, then illustrate about the local and convective acceleration. What are the local accelerations means? What are the convective acceleration? Illustrate the energy conservation principle. What do you mean by Reynolds transport theorem? How where the Reynolds transport theorem is applicable. Derive the continuity equation in three dimension for incompressible and non-viscous flow. Thanks.